what has been my top 12 books of 2020 hello and welcome to my channel where i do book reviews inspirational interviews and motivational video and today i'm going to talk about the top 12 books i read in year 2020 now year 2020 we all know we all had a little more time to spend a little more time to do things that we want to do so I spent a lot of time going through my passion as reading books and I'm going to present my top 12 books of the year 2020. I hope you like it. The first book is Mindset by Dr. Carol S. Dweck. Carol, Dr. Carol is known for her research and lot of studies in terms of physics education psychology and other things and this book is all about fixed versus growth mindset it has got lot of examples lot of lessons to be learned whether it's business whether it's relationship whether it's parenting or schooling you will find it and i really loved it so that is my number one book of the year 2020 that i finished my second book of 2020 is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It was first published in 1937 and it talks about mindset and how can you improve your mindset using persistence, using imagination and lot many things. It was a gift given by a bunch of friends and I really enjoyed it. So book number two is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Next up are two books by Robin Sharma. So number third book, the third book that I finished is The 5 AM Club. The 5 AM Club, as popularly known by Robin Sharma around the world now is when who, people who wake up at 5 AM and do a lot of self-improvement thing. Uh, many of you would have heard me saying that now I am proud to be one of the 5 AM Club members. So it's a great book. It's a kind of a fable where he, uh, put two fictitious character and they get a mentor and and the mentor talks about how waking up an hour early than your general waking time can really make a lot of difference and i've applied those principles and really helped me so the book number three is the 5 a.m club by robin sharma the next book is the leader who had no title again by robin sharma it's again a fantastic book which says that no, you don't need to have a title, designation, power to actually lead in the front. It's it's all from within and you can learn from yourself. You can learn from a mentor. Again, it's a business fable because Robin Sharma is known for his fables and characters. So it's a story of a person who's struggling, who's army veteran. And then uh, yeah, he, got, he gets a mentor and how he has done. I'd actually done the book review. So if you want to watch, click here. So that's book number four. The Leader Who Had No Title by Robin Sharma. The number five on the list is The High Performance Habits by Brendan Bachard. Brendan Bachard is one of the number one uh, executive coach and high performance coach of the world. And in this book, he talks about the six uh, high performance habits that separates the average performer from high performance. Those are clarity, energy, necessity, productivity, influence and courage. It's a it's a big, big book, uh, but it's worth reading. So definitely recommend it. So book number five is The High Performance Habit by Brendan Bachar. Number six in this list is Ikigai. Now this book is one of the sensations of 2020 to say, I've seen hundreds of messages where people talked about what is your Ikigai, uh, the famous diagram where it says what is your passion, mission, profession and vocation where all those meets that become Ikigai. So I also got this book. It, it is in my top 12. Uh, but honestly speaking, I was a bit disappointed because the book uh, is mostly all about how do you live more than 100 years uh, than other things. So I was a little bit disappointed, but still it is in top 12 books of 2020 of mine. Number seven on the list is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now this book is one of the world famous book on 
personal finance management and it breaks a lot of myth about finance management and how you don't have to have high degrees how you don't need to have too many things to actually become rich it talks about building assets and and lot of other things so if you are interested in finance and learning more about finance it's a must read so number 7 is rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki number 8 on the list is nlp the essential guide nlp stand for neuro linguistic programming and it is the study of how our mind works and how our thoughts work and how we can program it to make it better our like make our lives better now honestly speaking this is one of the toughest book to say it it is full of analogies and full of thoughts but i found it little difficult for me to comprehend so i might have to go back in 2020 and read it once more uh, but yes it is one of the must read and it is number 8 in top 12 of the books i read in 2020 number 9 on the list is the way of the monk by gaur gopal das now i can easily say is one of my top 3 book of the year 2020 and this book gaur gopal das talks about how you can get happiness peace and lasting joy in your life it's a very good book and i've actually done the book review so if you're not yet watched please click here to go to the to go to there so number 9 is the way of the monk by gaur gopal das number 10 on this list is the code of the extraordinary mind by vishen lakhani now in this book vishen talks about 10 laws that you can help uh, that can help you unshackle from the conventional wisdom conventional thinking and you can really grow uh, it it's a lot of hard work done by vision that you can clearly see and observe in this book and he talks a lot about his own mind valley so if you are interested it's a must read for you in in case you want to go out of brule as he says so number 10 in the list is the code of the extraordinary mind by vision lakhan number 11 on the list is think like a monk by jay shetty now jay shetty as we know is one of the social media superstar his podcast on purpose is the number one podcast in that category so this is his first book and he talks about it talks a lot about how you can improve your life how you can let go grow and give uh, so that's the three part of the book it's it's a fantastic book again in my top 3 book of 2020 a must read So number eleven is Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. My number twelve and last book of year twenty twenty is Attention Management by Bora Neville Thomas. She talks about if you can control your attention, you can control your life. It's no longer about time management; it's about attention management. I've actually done the book review of it. If you have not yet watched, click here to watch it. So number twelve on the year twenty twenty book is for me attention management by Mora Neville Thomas. So those were the top twelve books of the year twenty twenty which I had the opportunity to go through. Please mention in comment which one you like the most and if there is any other book that you would recommend for me to read in twenty twenty. As always, please like, share, comment. and subscribe if you have not yet done so thank you so much have a wonderful year 2020 take care